Hey friends, what is up? Obviously we are in my kitchen, so based on the setting, here we mm, mm. My tongue. So clearly we are doing another food related video. I figured we needed clothes for back to school. So next off we're going into food and as you saw by the title, we are doing making 10 different recipes, kind of like testing them out, but they're all like super easy, semi, you know, like on the healthier side. I want them to be mindless and easy and that's what all of these are. I found a bunch of these on TikTok. TikTok is great for finding, you know, music, recipes, throwing me deeper into my poor shopping habits, a lot of things but I found a bunch of recipes that look bomb. So I'm super excited to test them out for you guys. Other than that, we're gonna get straight into this video and let's get going. This first video is for chia pudding. <laughs> First video is for chia pudding. I've tried making chia pudding before. I didn't try it till recently because long story short, I thought I was allergic to seeds my whole life and then I found out I'm not actually allergic to them. But a lot of times my chia pudding just like doesn't work. I don't know why. And this one is chocolate flavored, which makes it literally look like dessert, but it's like, you know, fiber from seeds and whatever. We're gonna try this out. Hey. Okay. Chia pudding just had to taste like Okay. That looks bomb. Okay, that looks bomb. There's only like five ingredients. Sorry, you're a little crooked, but I just don't know how to fix that right now. So we're gonna go grab the ingredients. This one is also like an overnight recipe. I guess you technically don't have to leave it overnight, but she did it in the video, so I'm gonna do that also. Hello. So I add three teaspoons of cocoa powder. Three teaspoons of cocoa powder. So I've decided I'm making this in a mason jar just so that I can like store it better. Chia pudding tastes really good on top of stuff, like not just by itself also. On top of yogurt or something, I don't know, or with like frozen fruit or on an acai bowl. So I figured this would be good for storing it. Just shake it up. Stuff just looks cuter in mason jars too, so. Just salt and a quarter teaspoon of instant coffee. Quarter teaspoon. Not even just the speaking thing. I, I can't do anything right now. Oh my gosh. My instant coffee is kind of old. That's gross. I hope this doesn't kill me or something. I know you have no clue what's going on right now, but I want to be caffeinated from this chia pudding. Vanilla. I'm actually so bad at watching these videos. Can they just write out the ingredients for me? This one tastes like chocolate. Cup of milk. She is almond milk. I'm allergic to almonds. Normal chocolate milk. I also really want to I bought this because I want to try it with my coffee and I, I don't know if it'll make it taste like a mocha or something. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Actually, it seems like a lot of chia seeds. That's like my whole, oh my god, that's a lot of chia seeds. Ew, it looks like bugs. <laughs> Sorry, I'm hot mess right now. I almost spilt my chia seeds everywhere. That would have been bad. Shake it up, shake it up. I don't think this is the right lid. It's literally spelling. Oh my gosh, I'm hot mess energy right now. Oh my god. Shake it with caution. Okay, well, I'm gonna put the, oh my gosh, it's spilling everywhere. Why is this literally, why is it spilling? I am gonna put this in my fridge overnight and then I will review it for you guys tomorrow or whenever I open it again. Hey friends, very clearly it's another day. We're gonna taste the chocolate chia pudding, which I am beyond excited for. The girl in the video recommended to eat this with raspberries. I unfortunately picked one that has mold in it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna eat. Ooh. It looks a little, a little disturbing. It definitely looks very, very thick. Okay guys, update. This is the little bowl that I made. So I have chia pudding, I have blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries in here, and then I have a little bit of soy nut butter in it. Put soy nut butter on freaking everything. We're gonna do a taste test. Oh, I also put cocoa nibs on here. You gotta get a little bit of everything on it. That's solid. It's really smooth and it tastes really good with the fruit and stuff and with the cocoa nibs. Definitely recommend this. Using the chocolate milk makes it like extra chocolatey. And okay friends, on to this next recipe. This one's actually like real person food. Brussels sprouts. I know a lot of people aren't fans. Personally, I love them and this recipe looks amazing. For this one, we're gonna start off with chopping our Brussels sprouts. We have to cut an onion, which I'm not looking forward to, because every time I cut an onion, I start sobbing. This is gonna be interesting to watch. I'm gonna do the Brussels sprouts first. I don't feel like crying at the moment. I like can't help it. Wow, look at all of those Brussels sprouts that I cut my... Just kidding, guys. I wouldn't lie to you. I also bought a bag of like pre shredded ones. Now it's time to do the dun, 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 that guy. I'm really scared to do it. I heard you're supposed to like chew gum or do something, but I'm just gonna cut it and you guys are probably gonna watch me cry. It also sucks because I actually put mascara on today. Hopefully, it's worth it. Cut half of an onion. You peel it first, right? It'd be really embarrassing if I'm doing this completely wrong. 
Ooh, I should have gotten a bigger knife. I can't cut stuff without making weird faces for some freaking reason. Maybe if I do it super fast, I won't have time to cry. Maybe if I make myself cry with onions, then I won't cry about other things. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I look really dumb right now. I swear I can kind of cook. Freaking my. Oh my. Hands are like a safety hazard. You start crying. You can't see what you're cutting. Enough. That's enough onion for me. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut it in half and then I'll like. You're supposed to put the entire. Like juice the entire thing in there and then zest it. Do that after. Okay. We're gonna get to cooking now, which is the fun part. Going over to the. Ah. Oh, yay. This is chaotic energy. Melanie cooking is not a great thing, especially when she's like malfunctioning as a human. And you're supposed to olive oil it. Oh, you're supposed to use garlic too. My family is one of these families. <laughs> Lots of garlic. Onion, salt, Brussels. Mm -mm -mm. Switching to these things. My mom labels everything. I'm just gonna, is this gonna start like, feels kinda shuffy right now. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> How do you do this? Oh, look at that. You're all supposed to zest it. I don't know if you're supposed to zest it before. I just straight up don't know what I'm doing. Oh, you guys better really love me because I literally cut this with a knife. Mama Locke is hard at work for the video. Ah. I found a better one along here and it starts to come out. Thanks, Mom. I'm working hard. Working hard. <laughs> that would have been helpful a little while ago. Okay guys, it is finally time to taste test. I really want to try these Brussels sprouts. They look bomb. They look a little crispy and burnt, but that's honestly how I love them. Mmm, lemony. Mmm. Okay. I love this because it's super flavorful by itself, but you can also add it to like a salad to bring to school. Or you can eat Brussels sprouts like warm or cold, so it's really convenient. I was gonna give it a 9 out of 10, but I'm giving it an 8 because zesting a lemon is really hard. And cutting an onion made me cry. We are on recipe at number three. Thank goodness, this one's not really cooking. It's basically assembling. Just like a food combination, essentially. Which I really need because I'm the high feed stress from the first two. They weren't even bad. It's just like a toast combo. Oh, air fry. There are literally people over right now doing something to our house, but I really want to make this toast. These are all the ingredients. You just need bread, mozzarella cheese, mayo or butter, garlic powder, red chili flakes, parsley, and then honey. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like toast. You add a little bit of honey on top. Ah, my honey does not look pretty. Crushed red chili flakes. Parsley. Ah. Whoa. Ooh, looks pretty. This toast didn't take very long at all to make, which automatically gives it a one up in my view. Ooh, cheese pool. Mmm. Mm. Honestly, I was bound to like this because first, I love cheese. I love sweet stuff. I love honey. I love red chili flakes. I love toast. But I will admit, this was a combo I didn't see coming. This is a 9 out of 10 too. This is really good. This is really good. Hey guys, we are trying another recipe. This one is on like a hell side of TikTok, which I was on for a while, which can be a little bit dangerous. You have to be cautious with that, but this one actually looks so delicious. It's just like air fried artichokes, which I never thought to air fry artichokes before. And then she makes a yummy looking sauce. You're gonna need some artichoke heart. Oh my gosh, I'm weak. This, oh, I got it on my shorts. I stain everything. I'm gonna smell like artichokes too. Recipe video comes first, so I'll fix that after. I'm trying to get some of the oil out of these. Oh my short. For the first time forever, not gonna like line this with tin foil because it's. I'll just clean it after. Not that lazy. But we're just gonna toss these art artichokes in here that are lightly oiled. I should start wearing like an. Oh, I have an apron. Salt them a little bit and pepper, and then she put them in at 390 for. 13 minutes. We're making our little aioli dip. It also looks so easy. All you're gonna do is take some mayonnaise. I love that this girl didn't really use measurements because I don't ever use measurements in my life. Some lemon juice. I'm using bottled lemon juice because honestly, still scarred from those Brussels sprouts. I'm putting a lot of lemon juice because I love lemon. Mix, mix, mix. And then we're gonna lightly salt and pepper this. I I should show you guys more. Sorry. I don't have actual chives. I'm gonna be using bottled ones. Ooh, guys, look at this. That looks so good. Yes, I'm buying it with chopsticks because I eat everything with chopsticks. Okay, ready? Mmm. 
My ale is so lemony, I love it. Mm, really good. I probably wouldn't eat this by itself, but this would be bomb in a salad. Roasted veggies in a salad, so good. This would be a good like appetizer. Yeah, this would be like an eight or nine out of 10, but I'm really mad that I got oil on my outfit, which is yes, probably my fault, but it still happened because of this recipe. This one is super exciting. I saw this a while ago and I've been dying to try this one out. Even if I didn't film a video or anything, I definitely would have done this. You guys know me, I had a massive blueberry muffin obsession. Actually, it wasn't just muffins. It went from muffins to scones to blueberry pancakes. I just, I also just love blueberries by themselves, but this is kind of like an upscale, different kind of blueberry muffin recipe because the muffins are literally blue naturally just from the blueberries, which looks so so cool. I actually love this girl's account also. Bro, we're at the blender station. Sorry, it's it's a mess. She used plant-based milk and recommended it, but I don't have any, so I'm just using normal milk. So they said to microwave the blueberries for a little bit, or you could heat them on a stove top just so that they're jammy. And then we're gonna scoop those into our blender along with the maple syrup, milk, and oil. Yes, oil. And then we're gonna blend it up. All you're gonna do is add the flour, baking powder, and salt. One cup of flour, salt, it's just a pinch. Baking powder is just one teaspoon oh shoot to add two tablespoons of sugar to that blueberry mixture okay friends so i fix the mixture add this in here and mix it up interesting i'm gonna fold this in i think this is pretty much it for the actual like batter all we have to do is make the streusel on top Look at that, it's gorgeous. Gosh, it looks so fun to eat. Okay, now I'm making streusel, which isn't that exciting. You just add a fourth of a cup of flour and then a fourth of a cup of brown sugar to two tablespoons of butter. And I'm just gonna like mix it up. I think it'll be easier to just mix it up with my hands, to be honest. All right, looking good. We're going into the oven. It's going in at 425 for five minutes. And then you bring it down to 350 for like 20 minutes, which is kind of weird. I've never heard of changing the temperature before, but apparently it helps it get like a really dome shape. All right, it just rang and we're gonna check on them. These aren't very domey. This is what they look like. They don't look beautiful. They don't look super blue either. The crumble looks kind of funky too. I don't know if I like break that up. So we're gonna let them cool though. And then I will come back and review them for you guys. Hey friends, unfortunately I totally forgot about my muffins yesterday. So it's actually the next day, but you know what? Muffins in the morning, chef's kiss. So we're gonna taste test this right now. They look kind of ugly, not gonna lie. They smell all right. So my expectations are kind of, it looks more like one of those brownie bites than it does a muffin. Ooh, look at the color though. Mmm, like a cool color. The crumble on top makes it a lot sweeter, but the muffin itself isn't very sweet. It does taste like blueberries and like natural, not artificial, obviously, because it was real blueberries. Obviously, I'd eat it, but I don't think I'd eat anything. I really like the flavor of these. I would honestly make it again. I just don't know why they didn't turn out dope. I like it. This would be a, a great like little snack to bring with you off to school or even like quick morning breakfast. Hi friends, we're doing another baking-ish one. This one's a healthier take at Almond Joy or something. I don't know, I'm allergic to almonds, obviously. Well, okay, maybe it's not obvious. You're new here, but I'm allergic to nuts, so I'm just swapping out certain things. I'm used to doing this with recipes because I'm allergic to literally everything. I have all of my ingredients here. There. And we're just gonna start mixing like all of it together. It seems pretty simple. We're starting off with mashing some bananas. a whole cup of this it's literally like half of it Okay, compared to the video, mine looks a little thicker, and I'm guessing that's just because almond butter is usually like really liquidy. Wine up butter is a little more solid, but this is what it's looking like. And then I'm just going to put it into my brownie pan. I just line this with parchment paper to make things easier. Going in the oven at 
325 and you just keep them in there for like 20 to 25 minutes and then you have to let them cool for a really long time recipe said overnight my friends it's another day we are testing the finished little like brownie almond joy bite things also look at my pretty flowers from eco tools for hitting 500k huge thank you eco tools and huge thank you to you guys by the way i didn't say that formally in a video so thank you guys so much but we're testing these someone already ate them in my family and also i'm absolutely disgusting i'm eating it straight from the thing please don't judge me if you're my family watching this i'm sorry but i'm actually not that sorry because you know i do this all the time it looks very crumbly and i think that has to do with the texture of soy nut butter and also last thing i'm gonna say before i try this it literally made my kitchen smell so good for like a whole day so i am I'm extremely excited to taste this. Mmm. Mmm. It's interesting. The texture is not too dry, but it's super crumbly. The recipe called for like two large bananas, and I feel like my bananas were kind of small, so that could have been it too. But the flavor definitely there this would probably turn out different with different types of butters, but I love the flavor of soy nut butter, so I think this is pretty bomb. Seven out of ten for me. I'm super super excited. I have had sago before in drinks and I also got like this coconut sago stuff in Hawaii And I was absolutely obsessed with it It was one of my favorite things that I ate just because I love coconut stuff. I don't know. I thought it was refreshing I ate it in parfaits. I ate it by itself. I ate it with banana bread. I have some mango So I'm gonna have to like cut this up. I have tapioca, which I went to a bunch of Asian grocery stores They didn't have the small pearls that I was looking for and they had this at freaking Albertson I'm just gonna cube this up and then we're gonna be blending that just with the Dense milk and the coconut milk. Alexa, play Everything Has Changed. Okay guys, I finished up making this. It was actually a lot quicker than I thought it would be. The only thing, I might not have cooked the tapioca pearls long enough. But we're gonna taste test this. This looks bomb, so. Mmm. Guys, I'm convinced anything with condensed milk, I literally love. This stuff, bomb, 10 out of 10. So good. This one seems pretty easy. We're just gonna start off, um, not gonna lie. It's air fried peaches, but I couldn't find a peach. I only could find it. I'm pretty sure this is a nectarine. I don't know, in my head they're kind of the same thing. Ooh. This recipe it seemed pretty simple. You're just going to slice your peach, nectarine, whatever. Top it with some honey and cinnamon and then air fry it. <laughs> video said 375 for anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes i think i'm gonna start off now in the middle we'll do about 10 minutes Ooh. hey oh Ooh. let's test it oh my gosh it smells so good literally add cinnamon to anything oh this would be bomb with cream of wheat I'm really scared i'm gonna burn myself this stuff is so good. Mmm, so good. This is this is actually 10 out of 10. This is so good. So good. Oh, as you guys know, I have a huge obsession with blueberry muffins, and I have a newfound obsession with carrot cupcakes. I know the correlation there, a little stretch. The rationale in my head that carrot cake is basically, you know, it's a vegetable. It uses grams and stuff, so I'm going to learn how to use this little measuring thing. We're starting off by grating this carrot. I have no clue how much 30 grams of a carrot is. I just bought a single carrot. I also don't know where my grater is, so I, this might be a problem. Oh, look at that. I found it. I'm going to move my drink or else my drink's going to get carrot chunks in it. Oh my gosh, this is going to take forever, actually. Guys, this is kind of embarrassing, but look at what a mess I made trying to shed this carrot. You can't even tell the extent of it. All right, guys, I've made quite a mess, but we're just gonna mix this. I also think I put way too much nutmeg in there. Why does mine look like this? Sure, I did all of that. I'm really confused. Maybe it's the type of flour I use. I have no clue. Get at 350 for like 25 minutes. It looks really, really dense. It might be the type of flour I use because I'm allergic to oat flour and I subbed a different one without like checking the, the exchange. Maybe my, my scale thing is broken, but we're gonna put it in the oven. Hi friends, so it's quite a bit later. I let my cake bake and cool, but by the looks of it, it doesn't look like it 
baked at all. Like it literally looks like a pizza. But it smells kind of good, so I'm gonna taste it anyways. I think it has to do with the flour I use. We're just gonna hope that like the over consuming amounts of cinnamon that I use will like make up for this, so. It tastes healthy. And it doesn't really taste like cake. It kind of tastes like mush. Would I eat it? Yeah, I'm eating it right now. I would just eat it with like yogurt or ice cream. I think I'm gonna try this again, but with a different type of flour. If I ate it with soy nut butter, maybe it'd be okay. It was like a five out of 10, because I think it has potential. I think I just did something really wrong. Yeah. This next one looks pretty simple too. Two ingredients. It always says two ingredients. I guess it makes sense with like the base, but there there's more than two. Flour and yogurt, which I thought was really interesting. But did I even say what we're making? It's two ingredient bagels. Today I only have vanilla yogurt, and I don't know if that'd be gross. Three fourths of a cup yogurt, and then three fourths cup flour, and then whatever toppings you want. oven at 350 for 22 minutes all right guys they're done we're gonna do a little taste test they seem kind of really dense not like fluffy like if i i don't know if you can't really tell but just an observation oh yeah you can tell it almost looks like mochi or something oh the lighting not great okay let's try it I don't think I'm gonna be finishing that. Not a fan of it. That's kind of like a three out of 10. I don't know if I did something wrong, but. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. 10 healthy TikTok inspired recipes, and hopefully it helps you out. Other than that, let me know what other back to school videos you guys wanna see. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and coming along and joining me in my kitchen. It makes it so much more fun to test recipes when you guys are here. Make sure to check me out on the other socials so we can keep in touch. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. I know you wanna leave, so come on, baby, be with me so happily. Quarter in spoon. Mm. Walking around the kitchen with a freaking tripod is so difficult. Uh. Ooh. Hey, Steve. Mmm, this angle.